Ciao billion bitcoins, Enrico here, and welcome to the Stone Shaper class spotlight on Spellbreak. Today we're going to be covering the spells and sorceries, as well as skills and basic combinations that we can do with the class. Without further ado, let's jump into the game. So let's get Stone Shaper, let's confirm, I'm not gonna care about the talents, we are simply going into the practice game. Right, so here we are. Now, Stone Shaper basic attack or basic spell is called Shockwave. Now, by the way, you can see the name of the spells and stuff like that on the bottom right of your inventory. It's called uh, Shockwave for the spell and the sorcery is Boulderfall, or in my case, my Q. The basic attack reaches pretty far, like farther than you might think, and it does hit uh, the area at the end of its uh, reach. And what I mean by this is when you're eating an enemy, even if you're not super precise, even if you're eating on its left side, but it's there, you're still going to hit him. That's why this class is very strong as well. You don't have to be like laser precise. Boulderfall is the sorcery of Stone Shaper. For this skill, you simply cast your Q or your E and you hit the enemy. The further you hit, the more damage you will do. As you saw, guys, that was dealing 40 damage from that distance. Now I'm gonna cast it closer. And it only does 26. So the further you are, the more damage you will deal to your opponent. As you can see once again, I'm just gonna jump away and cast it. And it's 37. Now for the Stone Shaper skills, the very first one is called Stone Skin. It will allow you to basically have plus 5 armor for every basic attack that you do. Of course you need a belt to do that. Now, because I need to damage myself, I will just equip a Legendary Fire Gauntlet and I will just, you know, walk into the fire pretty much. And as you can see, I start getting damage. Because I am Stone Shaper though, I can simply Shockwave and I can recover my armor just like that. This is really effective and it's a very nice way in between combats to recover your armor without having to waste any shield shards. Now, in a normal game, to level up and get your other skills, you would simply have to um, walk into the safe zone or the white circle that you see on the minimap during the game. In the practice map, you can simply go by the energy ball that says level up, and you're going to be able to level up. So Bedrock is the second skill of Stone Shaper, and what it does is when you jump and cast your spell, you're gonna drop fast to the ground. This is very handy because, of course, you want to be on the ground to cast this spell, and, uh, you know, if you see an opponent and you're just, like, flying, you can definitely take cover or attack him right away without having to wait to be on the ground. Now, for the third skill, we basically are granted an extra boulder fall to throw. So, what I mean by this is you simply do your Q and you can do another one right away with no problem. And then it will cool down again until it charges you up to two boulder falls to throw at your opponent. Let's check out the fourth skill which is accretion. This basically increases the size of your boulder fall as you're throwing it. So now I'm charging the second one, as you can see the cooldown, but I can just throw them right away and they're going to increase in size as they travel and hit the ground. Now let's talk about basic combinations and I'm gonna go in order over here. I already have the fire equipped, so I'm gonna show you guys what you can do with the fire if you have Stone Shaper as your main uh, class. You can use your shockwave to go through the wall of fire and also have a fire trail that will, that, that will deal damage. And you can also throw your boulder falls through the fire to do fireballs. And that's pretty cool because it will increase the damage that it does when it hits. Another cool thing you can do is basically throwing a boulder fall and hit it right away with fire and it will fire up the ball as it goes to hit the target. Of course, that's a little bit more difficult, so I definitely recommend if you can't time your fire right, um, you definitely want to do a firewall and then throw it through the firewall so that it will make your life a little bit more easy and it will also shield you from any ice arrow that is coming your way in that moment, for example. Just like so. Now, let's talk about combinations with ice. Just like with fire, if you have your Frostborn secondary gauntlet, you can throw a boulder or a boulder fall or whatever, and you can ice it that way, and it's going to deal more damage as it drops on your enemies. You can ice a boulder fall, but if you have um, trail left by a Frostborn main class, you can actually destroy that by shock waving it. So now I can't really show you guys, but normally if you have an ice trail in front of you, you can simply destroy it and you're not gonna be able to use it to skate anymore. For our next basic combinations, we have 
the Toxic Gauntlet. Now, when it comes to the Toxic Gauntlet, there is no great combos to uh, mention when you have Stone Shaper as your main class. Sure, you can throw a boulder and throw spells at it, maybe it will increase the speed of the boulder, or you can have a Toxic Cloud, use it as a visibility shield, not to make yourself, yourself seen. You can just use it to attack through it, but it doesn't really combine in any other effective way. And the same thing goes for lightning as well. I mean, you can throw a boulder and you can light it, light it up. Probably the speed of that boulder will increase, but nothing crazy will happen, to be honest. Also, if you have a thunder going and I throw a boulder right away, as you can see, nothing really happens over there either. Let's go with the last uh, basic combinations that we can do. Uh, let's use the wind gauntlet really quick. So one of my favorite things to do with the wind class as the secondary on a stone shaper main class is just throw a tornado when you're fighting, throw a boulder, and once it hits, you can simply keep attacking the other enemy, and you can see that it will uh, keep charging your armor, that's because of the first skill, stone skin. That's something to keep in mind, it's a pretty cool combo. Another thing is, if you have an enemy somewhere closer, and you want to give him like a straight strike with the boulder, you can always use a tornado to pull your boulder quicker down to the ground, as you just saw right there. You can also use the tornado to change trajectory from uh, high ground. So if I do a tornado from here, for example, and I throw a boulder up there, check that out, bam, it will still deviate and go down there. So you can mix and match as the circumstances dictate, but definitely that's something that is going to be fun for you guys if you master the art of changing direction of your boulder falls. Hope that makes sense. So that covers the basics of the Stone Shaper class. You can definitely also go further and experiment a little bit more to see how effective it is, but it's definitely a class that does a lot of damage. And if used properly, it's very hard to beat, unless you keep flying, of course. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell button to see my new videos when they come out, and also make sure to check out my Twitch, and of course give a follow over there as well, Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you guys in the Hololens. Ciao, ciao.